Good evening everyone, welcome back to another quiz, hope you're all doing okay. So we are uh, into the third week of 2021 and still nothing to report. Hope uh, uh, that Dope and my friends watching are okay um, and I've got another very decent quiz for you tonight. So uh, same as always then we're going to start off with the picture round which is the same format as always. So picture round this week. Name the following 10 pictures for one point each. So, uh, and each picture starts with the last letter of the previous. So if the first one was Winston Churchill, second one could be Leanne Rhymes, feasibly. Okay, kicking off with a picture round then. Here we go, and you have five minutes to do it. See you in five.
Okay, welcome back everyone. So that was the pitch round. Hope everyone enjoyed that. I think there were a couple of tough ones in here. It's been a few easy ones, but uh, determined no one's going to get 10. <laughs> so uh, here we go then uh, with the answers to the picture round. Remember, each one started with the last letter of the previous, and they're one point each. So here's your answers for the pictures. Here we go. So number one was the flag of Estonia. Number two was Alfred Lord Tennyson. I will give you Alfred Tennyson if you put that. Number three was Neil Kinnock, the former Labour leader. Number four was the uh, England footballer uh, Kyle Walker. Number five is an Australian actress from Bridesmaids She's called Rebel Wilson. Number six, that was the DVD cover for the 2016 film, I think it was, Noah, where, where uh, Russell, um, uh, Russell Crowe was Noah, I think. Number seven, that was the logo to the uh, distribution company Hap -Hap, Hapag Lloyd. You see them qu quite a lot on the news at the moment because they're all piled up at Dover. Um, that's where I got it from. Uh, number eight, that is the the actor Donald Pleasance, who played uh, Blofeld, I think. Um, number nine was the French singer Edith Piaf. And number ten was another singer, Faith Hill. So we have uh, Estonia, Alfred Lord Tennyson, Neil Kinnock, Kyle Walker, Rebel Wilson... Noah, Hapag Lloyd, Donald Pleasance, Edith Piaf, and Faith Hill. They are your ten pictures for, th for this week. We'll leave those on for another five, six seconds, just so you can check those. And then we will move on to the general knowledge round. Okay then. So, general knowledge round comes next. Same as ever for general knowledge, so I'm going to give you 15 questions. They're all worth one point each, and three of them are multiple choice. The rest are um, are not. <laughs> and um, here we go. Question number one coming up. Here we go. So question number one. Nice easy one to start with. So... It's one of the most visited sites on the internet, but which well-known website celebrated its 20th anniversary on the 15th of January 2021, so last Friday? Okay, one of the most visited sites on the internet. Which well-known website celebrated its 20th anniversary on the 15th of January 2021? Friday just gone. Okay. That was question number one. So then we're going to move on to question number two. Here we go with question number two. Question number two. So first appearing in 1980. Uh, Pinky, Blinky, Inky and Clyde are the arch enemies of which famous computer game character? Okay, so question number two again. First appearing in 1980, Pinky, Blinky, Inky and Clyde are the arch enemies of which famous computer game character? That's number two. So I'm one of those nights tonight where it seems really quiet here. I know it is always quiet, but it does seem really quiet tonight. That was number two. Pinky, Blinky, Inky and Clyde. Arch enemies of which, of which game character. So, moving on to question number three. Here we go. Question three then. 
Question number three. So, is a film question for question number three. So, nominated for two Academy Awards, which famous 1982 film is set in a futuristic Los Angeles in 2019? Okay. So, film question again. Nominated for two Academy Awards, which famous 1982 film is set in a futuristic Los Angeles in 2019? That's question number three. There we go. Struggling to get quite struggling to get comfortable in this chair tonight. Okay then. That was question number three. So move on to question number four. Here we go. Here we go, question four. Question number four is a sport question. I've got a couple of sport ones tonight. This is an American sport question. Which of the following is not a professional ice hockey team currently playing in the NHL, the National Hockey League in America? Okay, which of these is not a professional ice hockey team currently playing in the NHL? Is it A, Colorado Avalanche, B, uh, Winnipeg Jets, or C, Vancouver Canadians? Okay. Which of the following is not a professional ice hockey team currently playing in the NHL? A. Colorado Avalanche B. Winnipeg Jets or C. Vancouver Canadians Which of those is not a real NHL team? I will tell you a bit more about that after. But which of those is not a real NHL team? Okay. That was question number four. Doing all right for time again? I've forgotten my iPad, guys, as well. So I'll have to, I don't know, I have to make a funny noise for the anagram because I've left it in the other room, unfortunately. So um, that was question number four. Moving on to question number five, then. Here we go. Question number five. So question number five is a music question. So question five, meaning waterfall, which dance music act had UK top 10 hits with every time we touch, evacuate the dance floor and miracle. Okay, question five again, meaning waterfall, which dance music act had UK top 10 hits with every time we touch, evacuate the dance floor and Miracle. Okay, I want the name of the dance music act. Meaning Waterfall. It's quite a good question, that one. So... That was question number five. So we're going to move on then to question number six. Here we go with question six. Question six, a geography question. Okay. US geography. So named after a river of the same name, the city of Boise is the capital of which US state? Okay, question six again. Named after the river of the same name, the city of Boise is the capital of which US state? I would not have known that. That's why I put it in, because I thought I was pretty good on US state capitals, but that really got me. City of Boise, which cap which capital of which US state? Okay. So we are moving on then to question number seven. Okay, so we're question number seven coming up. Here we go. Question seven. So TV question. 
Question number seven. So in a TV advert featuring Vinnie Jones, which long-running brand of men's deodorant currently promises no messing about? Okay, so in a it's an advert that's on at the moment. Okay, so in a T, in a TV advert featuring Vinnie Jones, which long-running brand of men's deodorant currently promises no messing about? It's quite a good advert, actually. It's quite funny. So that was question number seven. Just about halfway there in the general noise round. Okay. So that was question seven. Moving on to question number eight. Here we go. So question number eight. Okay. A bit of a general knowledge question here. So uh, historically used as a war cry, what is the literal meaning of the Japanese word banzai? Is it A, divine wind, B, 10,000 years, or C, long live Japan? Okay, question eight. So historically used as a war cry, what is the literal meaning of the Japanese word banzai? Is it A, divine wind, B, 10,000 years, or C, long live Japan? Saw that in a documentary in a week. You can tell where I get my questions from. Mainly from uh, random TV. Okay. That was question number eight. What does Banzai mean? Divine, divine wind, 10,000 years, or long live Japan. Okay. So that was number eight. We're moving on to question number nine then. Here we go with question number nine. So question number nine is a history question. Okay. So question number nine. Established in 1954, the 17th parallel was a demilitarized zone situated in which present day country? Okay. Question nine again, established in 1954, the 17th parallel was a demilitarized zone situated in which present day country? Don't catch yourself out, read the question. Present day country. Okay, that was question number nine. Okay. So that was question number nine. Moving on then to question number 10. Question number 10, here we go. Question 10, food question this time. So made from sourdough and ground rye, the dark bread known as pumpernickel originated in which European country? Okay, question 10 again. Made from sourdough and ground rye, the dark bread known as pumpernickel originated in which European country? Okay. Right then, that was question number 10. Question number 11 to follow. Here we go. Question number 11. So question 11, it is a pub question and a history question rolled into one. Which popular British pub name is derived from the personal emblem of King Richard II? Is it A, the White Hart, B, the Red Lion, or C, the black horse. Okay, question 11 again. Which popular British pub name is derived from the personal emblem of King Richard II? 
the white heart, the red lion, or the black horse. Okay. Vaguely remember pubs, but see if you can get that one. Ooh, which one of those pub names comes after the emblem of Richard II? Okay. Right. So that was question number 11. I forgot my clacks on this week. I do apologize. But here is question number 12, which is your anagram. Question 12. Here we go. Question 12 is your anagram. The anagram, a hope and rolls, can be rearranged to reveal a well-known TV program. What is it? Okay. Question 12 again. The anagram, a hope unrolls, a hope unrolls, that can be rearranged to reveal a well-known TV program. What is it? Remember, you do have your 10-minute break coming up, so I'm sure that could be used, kind of anagramming. It's not a bad one this week, actually. So that was question number 12. A hope unrolls, what TV program is that? So, that was question 12. Last three questions for general knowledge round. Here comes question number 13. So, question 13 is a music question. Okay. So, a seven inch record spins at 45 revolutions per minute. How many revolutions per minute does a 12 inch LP spin at? Okay, number 13, a seven inch record spins at 45 revolutions per minute or RPM. How many, how many revolutions per minute does a 12 inch LP spin at? I must admit, I wouldn't have been sure. I don't listen to records, but I'm sure there's lots of you will get that. So that was question number 13 on records. How fast does a 12 inch LP spin in RPM? So moving on to the penultimate question for the generalized round. Here we go. So question number 14 is a film question. Released in 1970, the fantasy comedy film Hercules in New York was the first role for which famous Hollywood star? Okay, released in 1970, the fantasy comedy film Hercules in New York was the first role for which famous Hollywood star? Okay, which famous Hollywood actor got their first role in Hercules in New York? Okay. That was question number 14. Last question then for general knowledge before you have your 10 minute break. And here it is. Question number 15 coming up. Question number 15. Uh, let me just check something a minute on my stream before I read that one out to you. Yeah, it's okay. Right, question number 15 is a music question. What single word links UK number one songs by the British pop acts Eternal, East 17, and Sam Smith? Okay, question number 15 again. What single word li li links UK number one songs by the British pop acts Eternal, East 17, and Sam Smith? There's a single word in common there. What is the word? What single word links UK number one songs by Eternal, E17 and Sam Smith? Okay. Leave that for five more seconds. There we 
there we go. So that is your 15 general knowledge round uh, questions. We now have a Zoom break coming up or a, or, or, or a drink break or whatever you want to do. Okay, I'll see you in 10 minutes time. See you soon.
welcome back. A nice 10 minute break. More importantly, hope you got all the answers. Right then, we're gonna crack on with the uh, answers to the general knowledge then. So, remember 15 questions you had, all one point each. And I'm gonna do start off with questions one to eight. The answers to one to eight. Here we go. So number one, it was Wikipedia that's celebrating 20 years. Number two, Blinky, Inky, Pinky and Clyde were the arch enemies of Pac-Man. They were the little ghosts that used to chase him around the maze. Number three, um, set in 2019 uh, Los Angeles as it was then in the future. That was Blade Runner. Number 14, it, we had, what did we have? We had, um, I can't remember what we had. We had Winnipeg Jets, definitely, something else, and Vancouver, Vancouver Canadians. It's they are wrong because it's the Vancouver Canucks. It's the the Canadians are Montreal Canadians, I think. So that's why. So it was Vancouver Canadians. That's not a real NHL team. Number five. Uh, it means waterfall in Spanish. Those three singles were by Cascada. Number six, Boise is the state capital of Idaho. I would never have got that. Um, number seven, the male deodorant advertised by, Brin by Vinnie Jones, as no messing about at the moment, is Brute. And number eight, Banzai means 10,000 years. Simple as that, 10,000 years it means. So we, had, so we had for one to eight, we had Wikipedia, Pac-Man, Blade Runner, Vancouver Canadians, Cascada, Idaho, Brute, and 10,000 years. And then moving on to 9 to 15. So the 17th parallel was is in modern day Vietnam. It was on the border of North and South in those days. Number 10, uh, dark rye bread pumpernickel originates in Germany. Uh, the emblem of Richard II had a white heart on it. A, white, a heart is an archaic term for a deer. So it was a white heart. Number 12, your anagram this week, I think was a nice easy one. Open all hours. Number, 12, number 13, rather, uh, a 12-inch LP is 33 RPM. If you've been uh, really clever and put 33 and a third or 33.3 .3 or anything like that, I will also give you a point. It is technically 33 and a third RPM, but it's 33. Number 14, uh, Hercules in New York was the first ever appearance on film of Arnold Schwarzenegger, who went on to do to do fairly well. One of my favorite actors for, for action films. And number 15, all those um, songs, so you had Stay by Eternal, Stay Another Day by East 17, and Stay With Me by Sam Smith. So it is Stay. They've all got the word Stay in them. So you had number nine. So you had Vietnam, Germany, White Heart, Open All Hours, 33 or 33 and a third, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Stay. They're your answers for 9 to 15. I'm going to flip back and just show you the ones before. There is 1 to 8 again. Five seconds on those, just in case you missed any the first time. And 9 to 15 again. And there we go. So that's your answers for the general knowledge round. So if you got all those right, 15 points. So next we're going to move on to the pop music round. I have corrected my slide this week. So you will hear 12 song clips. Okay, 12 song clips. They're all about seven seconds long. Uh, and I want you to name the artist for one point each. Just the artist, please. They will play through twice. There's a little, there's a little kind of they'll play through once. There's a pause and they will play again. Just name the artist for one point. Here we go. Good already. 
welcome back everyone hope you enjoyed the music round see how everyone did so same as ever for the music round uh, you just wanted the artist for one point each so here are the answers for the music round artist only so number one was Dua Lipa don't start now number two was Chic Good times. Number three, Stereophonics. Wouldn't believe your radio. Number four was Jefferson Airplane. Somebody to love. Number five was Avril Lavigne. Don't tell me. Six was Cool and the Gang. Celebration. Seven was Mariah Carey. Always be my baby. Number eight was Linkin Park. It should be without the G, but it is Linkin Park. In the end... Number nine, the Beach Boys surfing USA. Number ten was Keisha with uh, TikTok. Number eleven was John Denver and his song. And number twelve, quite a hard one, was London Boys with Requiem. Okay, so you had Dua Lipa, Chic, Stereophonics, Jefferson Airplane, Avril Lavigne, Cool and the Gang, Mariah Carey, Linkin Park. The Beach Boys, Keisha, John Denver, and London Boys. They are your ten, uh, your your twelve artists for music round. Okay, I'll leave that for a couple of seconds, just so everyone can check, and we will crack on with the final round, which is quite a good one this week, I think. Quite impressed with the question for, for, for the final round. So, there we go. Then. That's your answer for for the um, music. And we are moving on to the final round. So, final round is the same as always. Okay. The following eight questions are worth one point each. Okay. There's no penalties for getting them wrong. So, I suggest you answer every one. Just have a guess. They're all multiple choice. Okay, they're worth one point each, and there are five bonus points on offer if you can get all eight correct. So if you get all eight correct, you can give yourself five bonus points to take your score to thirteen. Okay. Um, don't know where that, that's gone. Okay, right. Okay, so five bonus points if you get them all right. Here we go. Then. Question number one. Right, so question one. So, I've been on some restaurant websites, if you can call them restaurants, sort of fast food places, really. Uh, qu question number one. So, according to the the official uh, restaurant or fast food websites, okay, according to the official re yeah, according to the official restaurant websites, which of these famous burgers has the most calories? Is it A, a bacon double cheeseburger from Burger King? B, a Big Mac from McDonald's, or C, a Zinger Tower Burger from KFC. Okay, they're all awesome. <laughs> but which one has the most calories? Bacon Double Cheeseburger, B, Big Mac, or C, Zinger Tower Burger. Three of my favourite burgers there. Which one has the most calories? Okay, that was question number one. Moving on to question number two then. Here we go. Question number two. Which of these world famous ocean liners was the largest in terms of total length from bow to stern? Okay, okay. which one of these ocean liners was the largest in terms of total length? Was it the Queen Elizabeth II, the QE2? B, the Queen Mary, or C, Titanic. Okay, which of those world-famous ocean liners was the largest in terms of total length, bow to stern, total length, which one was longest? Okay. That was question two. Moving on to question number three then. Here we go. 
Question number three is a literature question. Okay, so a narrative of 1757 goes after what to complete the title of a famous adventure novel? Is it A, Treasure Island, B, Robinson Crusoe, or C, Last of the Mohicans? Okay, question three. A narrative of 1757 goes after what to complete the title of a famous adventure novel? Is it A, Treasure Island, B, Robinson Crusoe, or C, Last of the Mohicans? Okay. There we go. So... So that was question three. Moving on to question number four then, halfway there. Here we go, question four. Question four is a sport question. So they're a bit kind of out of sync at the moment, obviously, but traditionally, which of the following golfing majors takes place latest in the calendar year? Is it A, the Open, B, the US Masters, or C, the PGA Championship? Okay, traditionally, in a normal year, traditionally, which of the following golfing majors takes place latest in the calendar year? Is it A, the Open, B, the US Masters, or C, the PGA Championship? Okay. That was question number four. So moving on to question number five then. Question five is a film question, going back to one of the best films of the 20th century. Definitely. Uh, question five. What was the name of the character played by Steve McQueen in the iconic 1963 war film The Great Escape? Was it A. Lewis Sedgwick? B. Roger Bartlett? Or C. Virgil Hills, Hiltz. Okay, he was the guy um, who kept getting put in the in in solitary confinement. He used to throw the baseball at the wall. Okay, but what was the character called that was pl was played by Steve McQueen in The Great Escape? Was it A. Lewis Sedgwick, B. Roger Bartlett, or C. Virgil Hiltz? It was question number five. So, moving on to question number six then. Three to go. Here we go. So, question number six is a geography question, UK geography. Which of the following well-known hills is situated within the London borough of Wandsworth? Is it A, Lavender Hill, B, Primrose Hill, or C, Muswell Hill? Okay, which of the following well-known hills is situated within the London borough of Wandsworth? Is it A, Lavender Hill, B, Prim Primrose Hill, or C, Muswell Hill? Okay. So that was question six. Moving on to the penultimate question for another week. Question seven. So, number seven then. Which of these former members of the Disney Club has had the most UK top 40 hits as a solo artist? Is it A, Christina Aguilera? B, Justin Timberlake, or C, Britney Spears. Okay, they're all formerly members of the Disney Club, but which of them has had the most UK top 40 hits as a solo artist? Is it A, Christina Aguilera, B, Justin Timberlake, or C, Britney Spears? Okay, and the last question for this evening then, question number eight, here we go. 
The question number eight is a geography question to finish off. The Arabian Desert covers 900,000 square miles and nine countries. Which country does not form part of it? Is it A, Iraq, B, Syria, or C, Kuwait? Okay, the Arabian Desert covers 900,000 square miles and nine countries, but which one of these countries does not form part of the Arabian Desert? Is it A, Iraq, B, Syria, or C, Kuwait? Okay. Right then. They are your eight questions. Have your final two minutes thinking time coming up, and then we'll get some answers. See you in a very short two minutes. Welcome back everyone for the final time tonight. So uh, we can get the answers to the final round then. Here we go. And they were all worth one point each. If you get all eight correct, you can give yourself five bonus points to take you to 13 points for the round. Okay, here we go then, the answers to the final round. So question number one, it was the bacon double cheeseburger from Burger King that is the uh, most calorific and the best actually. That's my favourite of the three probably now. Had many of them at Butlins over the years. Number two, it was the Queen Mary. That was the only one of those three ships over a thousand feet in length. I think uh, Titanic's about 900. The QE2 was 800 and something. That Queen Mary was over a thousand feet long. Number three, um, it was Last of the Mohicans. Number four, it's the Open that is normally the last in the major calendar. That normally takes place in July. So that's normally the last in the calendar for the, for the majors. Number five, Steve McQueen played Virgil, Virgil the Cooler King Hilts in Great Escape. Number six, it is Lavender Hill that is in Wandsworth. Uh, number seven, Britney Spears has had 30 top 40 hits. Justin Timberlake has had 26 and Christina Aguilera has had 23. So it is Britney Spears. And the last one, uh, it is Syria that is not in the Arabian Desert. 
So the countries for the Arabian Desert, should anyone want to know, are Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Israel, Jordan, Kuwait, Oman, uh, I can't say that, Qatar, uh, the UAE, and Yemen. They're, they're, they're the nine countries. So Syria is the answer there. Okay, so we have bacon double cheeseburger, Queen Mary, Last of the Mohicans, The Open, Virgil, Virgil Hiltz, Lavender Hill, Britney Spears, and Syria. They're your eight answers. If you've got them all correct, then you can give yourself a pat on the back and five extra points. Okay. Let's leave those there for five seconds for you. There we go. Okay then. Well, uh, that is the end of another quiz. As ever, uh, those of you who know me, get me in the WhatsApp group, tell me your scores. We're interested to see how everyone did. Um, on another note, hope everyone is okay, holding up okay, and look forward to seeing you at some point. Everyone stay safe for another week then, and I'll see you next week. See you soon, guys. Take care. And that's the end. Thank <laughs> you.